Hello everybody, I'm Adam Welch. Thank you for joining me again for another video short here. Today we're going to be talking about a basic principle that comes into play when you are adapting older lenses to your newer digital camera. Of course, there's a lot of adapters out there. There's a lot of uh, different things for you to choose from on the market. They all do about the same thing, but you need to be very careful, one, to make sure you don't get ripped off buying something you don't need, and two, you need to know exactly what the principle is behind how a lens can be adapted, a lens that is not meant for a certain camera, can be adapted to fit the camera and still have everything in focus and have everything function the way it needs to. We're talking about something called focal flange distance or flange focal distance or flange to film distance, flange back distance, flange focal depth. It all means the same thing guys. Focal flange distance just means the distance in millimeters from where the lens meets the front mount of your camera to the focal plane inside your camera, which is the film or the digital sensor. If you look at your camera and you didn't know this already, that little zero with the line through it, that represents the focal plane inside of your camera. This is why mirrorless cameras are generally really good at being able to adapt other lenses because generally they have very short focal flange distances. My Sony a7R has an 18 millimeter focal flange distance, whereas my Canon 5D Mark III has, I think, somewhere around a 44 and a half or 46 millimeter, something like that. I get it confused with Nikon. Anyway, now this is where adapters come in because all they're doing is correcting for that difference in focal flange distance and it needs to be accurate. If it's too long, you're not going to be able to focus to infinity. If it's too short, you're still going to have some close up focusing problems. So everything has to be essentially perfect in order to achieve proper focus with an adapted lens. Now the same thing is true the other direction. If you have a focal flange distance that is more than let's say the lens that you're trying to adapt, case in point, I couldn't adapt a native Sony E-mount lens to my Canon DSLR. The lens would have to be mounted so far back into the camera to go from that, what was it, 44 and a half or 46 millimeter all the way to that 18 millimeter focal flange. And it's virtually impossible. You would have to have a negative depth to make that happen. So the more you know. So there you have it, focal flange distance, just the distance from the back of the lens to the focal plane. That's really all there is to it. But it is immensely important when it comes to understanding how lens adapters work and making sure you get the right adapter to fit your particular needs. Now I know some of this can be a little bit confusing, so feel free to sound off down in the comments any questions, comments you might have about focal flange distance or uh, adapting lenses to your camera. I'd love to hear what you have to say and I'll help if I can. All right guys, thanks a lot for joining me. I'm Adam Welch and we'll see you next time. I try to do these transitions.